common way that women move out of their feminine energy and into their masculine energy is by constantly pursuing the guy. If you're the one always texting, if you're the one asking, what are we? What's the next step to this relationship? You're the one pushing that love story forward. You are heavily in your masculine. You have to pump the brakes to create space. And when I say leveling up is an internal job, it's these little tiny pivots these little tiny changes that make huge changes. In intimate dynamics, you are going to have to pump the brakes and learn to lean back. Lean back to receive what is given. Lean back to create the space for them to move forward. And it's like holding your breath, trust me. <laughs> it's torture. In the beginning, it is hard because you have an internal momentum going but you have to create the energetic space for him to miss you, crave you, desire you. If you are energetically always on him, always asking what's next, always reaching out, you're going to remain in your masculine. This is the most imperative in the beginning when you very first meet the person. In the very beginning of building this love story, you have to stay in your feminine. Once you guys become a couple and move into building a life together, your roles will be defined. There's definitely times where you'll need to lead, you'll need to take over, etc. But that's once you're in the relationship. In the beginning, you need to lean back and be receptive. The second way you might be moving away from your feminine energy and into your masculine energy is the polarity you bring to the relationship. To keep the polarity, there has to be space. Polarity is the sliding scale between two extremes. So you have to ask yourself, what energy do you bring to his life? Are you needy and naggy? Because if you are, you cannot be desirable and missed. Do you make him feel powerful and capable? Or do you downplay all his achievements? Does your energy make him feel peaceful and calm? Or do you stress him out? Does he feel appreciated? Or does he feel like it's a constant uphill battle with you and nothing he does is good enough? Is he comfortable being honest with you? Or does he feel judged? When you judge, you are training him to lie to you. FYI, guys. There's always polarity. Where do you land on the scale of polarity? And what can you do to shift? Think about love stories that we all know, you guys. If you want to build together, you can't be battling. What I realized about my defiance and my need to always push back all of the opposing sides of the scale of polarity that I just mentioned is a form of control. And control comes from fear. Control comes from lack. Control comes from the parts of us that are unhealed. So that's why so many of our internal wounds need to be addressed. Otherwise, we're navigating everything from the wound. And what this looks like when you go out is your swords are up. Your swords are up with men. It doesn't matter how tight your dress is, how beautiful you are, your hair, your nails, how good you smell. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how big your smile is because they can see the words fuck you lying right behind the surface of your eyes. Trust me, I was that girl. The third thing that you can be doing that's moving you into your masculine energy and out of your feminine energy is getting complacent. This is not about being superficial. This is not about vanity. I always say that every time you walk out your front door, you are representing God. So put yourself together. Again, this is not about being superficial. The way you present yourself to the world matters. When you walk out the door, if you're looking good versus looking bad, the energy you are projecting changes it shifts if you take care of yourself other people will know they have to take care of you too if you don't show up for yourself people won't show up for you we attract what we are so never get complacent whether you are in a relationship or not the fourth way you may be sitting in your masculine energy is not taking care of your mental health mental health is mental wealth and beauty is an inside job the beauty you see in anything is reflective of the beauty within you. When you take the time to clean up your internal world, I promise you that everything becomes more beautiful. Things become funnier. Life becomes lighter. And you can't do this if you don't take the time to feed your mind intentional data. If you can't get past the boundaries of your mind, the belief systems that are holding our perception in place, you're gonna stay in your masculine energy. And a way that you can do this is by downloading my soul sync sessions and my soul sleep sessions. These are belief building mindset training programs. They're 30 day programs, check them out. They're in the link below. Another way you can do this is by romanticizing and falling in love with your own life. 
it creates an internal vibe that has a ripple effect. How you can do this, you can take yourself out to dinner by yourself. I say it's imperative that you go by yourself, not with a friend, not with a crutch to keep you company. You go alone because you're trying to create an internal feeling. You're trying to visualize the life that you want and it's a lot easier to do when you are alone. You take yourself to a spa day. You create little rituals around your home, whether that's a cute coffee mug, whether that's a meditation practice, whether it's cooking yourself dinner or even going to a cooking class and then coming home, lighting a candle, turning on music. You can do all these things alone. By doing these little date nights and creating these rituals, you're creating an internal energy. And like I said in the beginning of the video, Video, what energy are you bringing into his life? If you move from a playful space, if you move from fa energy, which is fairy energy, you're dancing your way to your goals instead of marching, get the guy, get the ring, get the house, get the marriage. Like that's so task driven. That's so masculine. You have to really uh, just lean into your playful energy, your fa energy. Try to dance your way through your life instead of marching. All right, let's move into the last tip. The last tip of how you're remaining in your masculine energy is not addressing unmet needs. What this does, it makes you snarky, it makes you sassy, it makes you clap back and always have to have the last word. I was that girl, trust me, I know. And I thought it was just part of my personality. I promise you, when you heal, you don't do that anymore. It's not part of your personality, it's your wound. So the way to address your unmet needs, you don't need tons of therapy, you guys, pen, paper, white candle. All you have to do to start moving the energy that you have suppressed, love story after love story, disappointment after disappointment, write a letter of everything you didn't say, of everything you want to say, and then read it in the mirror. Just read it out loud. If you don't wanna to go to the mirror, just read it out loud. I promise you, it moves the energy. Remember you guys, energy cannot be destroyed. It has to be moved. It has to be transmuted. If you don't take the time to move it, you're suppressing, you're piling, you're building. There's not enough room for love and light if you're carrying all that heaviness. It will project in the way you communicate with people. It will project in your vibe. It will project in your energy. Masculine men will feel this. You have to remove the walls to pull the swords down if you want to be in your feminine energy. So start writing letters of all the things you haven't said because those are your unmet needs. By getting them out of your head onto paper and then vocalizing them, you're moving the energy through you, through you and out, through you and out. Write as many as you need, get started, and I promise you that will help move you from your masculine energy to your feminine energy. All right, guys, hopefully some of that was helpful. We're living in a very dense world right now, and the world needs our feminine energy more than ever. The world needs healing. The world needs grace. The world needs peace. And I feel it's a big part of our duty to heal ourselves internally. Because if you believe that we're a conscious collective and we are all one, that's us, guys. We need to focus on ourselves, focus on our healing, because it has a ripple effect in the energy we bring to the world the conversations we have, and everything is a domino effect. If you are responsible for the energy that you bring into the world, that is how we create change. So other than finding the masculine male you want, it plays a part in balancing the collective consciousness. My Soul Sync sessions are in the link below. They're 30-day programs. Check those out. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye.